Hi guys, this is Calera Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a centered single decrease, or a CSD. And what this stitch is, is it's a decrease stitch. If you look at my hat here, it's worked over three stitches. So I have this knit stitch, and then I have a purl stitch. If I stretch out my work, you can see the purl stitch below, and then I have the next knit stitch. So it's worked over three stitches, and they get decreased down to two stitches. So that's why it's called a single centered decrease. So if you look at my work here, you can see that it creates a shape in your knitting that almost looks like a uh, rooftop or a top of a triangle. So I'll show you how to create that. On my hat here, I have my stitches resting on three DPNs. And if you look at this DPN, I've got six stitches that I will be working two of these centered single decreases on. So I'm gonna do the first decrease over these three stitches, and then the second one will go over these three. So I've went ahead and marked the middle of these three stitches, which is a purl stitch, with a stitch marker, because I'm gonna show you um, as I'm working this that we're gonna be going back into that stitch. So that's why I've marked it. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up our working yarn and for a centered single decrease the first thing you're going to do is work essentially a, a traditional slip slip knit with your first two stitches. So we're going to take our right hand needle and slip the first stitch knit wise, slip the second stitch knit wise and then place those back on our left hand needle purl wise. And for our traditional um, slip slip knit, you'll just insert your right hand needle back through the back loops of those two stitches and knit them together. So that is a traditional slip slip knit. And here's the next part. The reason I marked that purl stitch, if you can see right there, we're going to be working into that. With our left hand needle tip, I'm going to insert the needle tip through get this where you can see it through from the front to the back and just pick up that stitch. I know that's kind of hard to see. Um, you're going to put your working yarn to the back of your work. So we've essentially picked up another stitch. Here's our third stitch of our decrease and we've picked up that center purl stitch. Now we're going to insert our right hand needle tip through those two stitches on our left hand needle. And we're just going to work those together as a, a standard knit two together. Okay. So you can see what we've done is we've created, like I said, that little roof shape or top of a, a triangle shape where we've essentially taken the first knit stitch and passed it over that center purl. And then the third knit stitch is passing over that center purl. So of course now we're done with our stitch marker. So I'll remove that so you can see this stitch a little bit better now. And that is our centered single decrease. And I'm going to show that to you guys one more time. So again, we're working over these three stitches on our next DPN. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that center stitch. You don't have to do this when you're working this stitch. This is just to show you guys where you want to work into when you approach that stitch. And actually, I think I'm still using this DPN here. Okay. So again, you're going to work a traditional slip slip knit. So slip knit wise, twice, insert your left hand needle purl wise, and then knit those through the back loop. So that's our first slip slip knit. Now we've marked that second slip stitch and you're just going to insert your needle from front to back through that stitch. That's all you're doing. And then you're going to make sure that your working yarn goes to the back. So you've got two stitches left from those original three. Now you're going to knit those two together, just like a standard knit two together. So we're done with that needle. And remember, we already worked a decrease. So we're going to get that out of the way. And you can see our second decrease is complete. So I'm going to remove that stitch marker and I'll show you in my work here. We've worked 
one centered single decrease. So we have two stitches left. And then over here, we've worked a second centered single decrease. So as you can see, it just gathers your work together into almost a triangular shape. And it just hides the stitch in the middle of the, the three stitches that you're decreasing to two. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.